StreamYard is a web-based and a browser-based streaming software that is great and has a lot of features to be able to do interviews and have up to six people depending on your plan, but also can be used free up to a certain amount of hours a month. But you've been using StreamYard and sometimes it's just you in the stream and you wanna use OBS, but you still wanna have the comments and the banners from StreamYard. Well, I'm gonna show you a nifty little trick to show you how you can do that. So stick around and let's go through it step by step. So first things first, we're gonna to need to sign up for a StreamYard account or log in. And then once you're signed in, you're gonna to wanna to create a broadcast. So create a broadcast, pick which platform you wanna go on. So I'm just gonna stick with YouTube right now and we're just gonna put test anyway. Public. We're gonna leave that public right now so this way all the options are available. And we're gonna schedule for later. We just put it at 11 o'clock. And we're gonna create that broadcast. Then once you create that broadcast, you're gonna enter the broadcast studio. When you go to enter, you're gonna have the option, okay, of not allowing or allowing your mics. So once you get right to here, don't pick anything, just enter without mic and cam. You do have to put your name in. All right, so now you're entered into StreamYard without your camera or your mic because you'll be using all those things through OBS. This has to stay open while we're doing this and I'll show you why in a little bit. So here we are in OBS. You're going to go to a view, docs, custom browser doc. You're gonna click on that and you can see I already have a couple here. All you're going to do is add one more and I'm just going to put chat to so I can show you an example. And then I'm going to just copy and paste streamyard.com. That's all it has to be in here. And then you just apply. And then you named that chat too. And here's your doc. You can close this up. And then you can push this over to the side right now. And you're going to have this in OBS off to one of the sides you can pick and you can lock it in. And just remember whatever stream you're using in StreamYard, your browser doc has to be open to that stream also. So you would click on these three dots here and then you would enter that broadcast just like how we originally entered our original broadcast. Scroll down and the same thing. You're gonna join without mic, enter without mic and cam. And then you're gonna stretch this out and just click the comment section because you could be in banners or whatever just make sure you're in the comment section and then you could just move your dock right back over and then you're in the correct dock at this point so you're matched up with your main page that's open for StreamYard, and that needs to stay open also so these comments update and you're set and then we can go on to the next step and then you're gonna go down you're gonna add a window capture click the window capture and let's just call that chat to also click OK OK chat is showing up full page on here as it should and then we're just gonna take and click our corner and alt and pull this in both sides. 
going to slide this down. Now, you're going to click on your chat over to the right and have that pop up. And now you can basically see where you're going to pull down to. So this is just left open down here. So we'll have this available to see. We'll go right to that corner and then we'll pull in from the right. And then we'll pull in from the left. So just click and then push Alt and come right in. I went in a little too much there. Right there. And then we can move this anywhere that you feel is good to be positioned um, for you. And you can size it too by grabbing the corner and making this bigger or smaller. All right, so after we're all cropped in, let's just move this up here for a quick second. Go back down to your chat too right here, right click it, hit filters. And then you're gonna add a filter just with hitting that plus. So then you're gonna go to color key. Okay. And then you're gonna go to custom color, select color. And then here is your color and you're gonna highlight this and just leave that hashtag. And then we're gonna put six ones in there. So just one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're gonna hit okay and close. And then now you see what has happened with our chat. I'll just go to a full screen here and you can see the chat has a clear background now. And you can place this anywhere you want and it's good to go and make it any size you may need by just pulling the corner up or down and then lock this scene, right click, lock preview. Now you're locked in and you can go and hide and show right here by clicking on your browser dock on the right, right over here. See? And that's your browser dock up right on this side. Now, if this browser dock doesn't show up on by any means, just go right to view, go over to your docs and here's all your browser docs. So if this is not checked off, that browser doc will not show up over there. And so you're just gonna wanna go over to view, docs, hit that chat too, and then there it is. So don't panic if you don't see it when you reopen OBS, you just make that correction and you're good to go. So if this helped you out in any way, let me know. Leave a comment down below. And please like and subscribe if you felt this was worthwhile information. Thanks a lot, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.